Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Tuesday, April the 3rd, 2018. And today in our Tech News Update, we have Apple that is maybe going to actually stop using Intel CPUs. Of course, the Intel stock dropped a lot because that is a big chunk of you know Intel already having and struggling with the uh, decline of PC sales. So uh, it seems that Apple is working on its own processor that it will use in Macs starting in 2020. Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg says that uh, not to be fooled as some, of course, uh, people were comparing different companies and how they treat users and user data. And he just wanted to say, well, you know, don't think that Apple cares more about you than Facebook. Instagram has actually made some changes after the, fias the Facebook fiasco. It seems that Instagram is now checking and reducing how much data third-party apps can get from users. Kind of telling you that all of these companies have the same type of way of doing things. And that uh, basically this is something they are going to check a little more because of the Facebook fiasco. Did you see this error yesterday and maybe even this morning as uh, something weird happened on YouTube? It uh, happens as you want to see channel pages. If you look at individual videos, it works well, but if you look at channel pages, you would get a 500 server error problem. They say it was fixed late yesterday, but this morning I actually went to see one of my pages and hey, my channel page gave me this error again, which means some are still affected by this error. Well, Malaysia is getting dead serious about fake news. It decided that it had enough and now it can punish anyone, and I mean anyone, that shares fake news on social media with up to $123,000 in fine and six years in jail. You know, maybe that's going to make some people think twice before posting it or whatever on their Facebook wall. Saks Fifth Avenue uh, is kind of in trouble. It is owned by a Canadian company called Hudson's Bay. It was hacked in May of 2017, and now we know about it, as Russian hackers are selling 5 million credit card information. Apparently they were hacked, and, uh, well, if you are a uh, customer, maybe you need to check out, make sure that your credit cards are okay. Well, the trade war that is now actually happening with China and the United States is about to maybe make your life a little more difficult with technology. As many analysts are saying that some of the, actually the tariffs and some of the uh, prices that uh, the taxes that will be put on some devices, on some products, uh, will actually make tech a lot more expensive suddenly, as it's already expensive because of cryptocurrency mining. So this is going to be something to look at. Well, before you go on a dating site or any type of site that you want to just, you know, try to find somebody, well, Grindr is one example that just backed off as it was about to reveal the status of HIV-positive users to third-party companies. Now, of course, they backed off as a lot of people said, whoa, you can't do that. But it tells you that uh, when you go to these sites, Maybe using, uh, you know, or giving the less, the least amount of details possible is better. Apple is dead serious about Siri now. It is searching for artificial intelligence engineers to make Siri much better, as competition is really getting fierce with Amazon Alexa and the Google Assistant. It is, of course, um, being kind of laughed at with its Apple HomePod, and uh, basically, they. Uh, really want to make things much better. And a study is giving a better outlook in jobs in the future. It says that although, yes, some businesses will use AI and robots, most will still maintain human workers because it seems that, in the most part, humans like to see other humans, not robots. And this was the Tech News Update for Tuesday, April the 3rd. 2018. You enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.